what's up y'all it's your girl raven denise if you are new to the channel welcome um i hope you stay i hope you like comment and subscribe if you're a returning subscriber hey girl hey today's video i'm gonna be talking to y'all about smelling bougie on a budget and by budget i mean a real budget like this is pocket friendly bougie on a budget friendly like but you're gonna smell expensive so let's just get straight to the point because I've been trying out these perfumes for the last two weeks so I could come to tell y'all if they were worth the buy or if it was just a hype. So first I want to talk about this actual company that sent me three fragrance elixirs. It is called Atar London and I received these fragrances and they are only like $14.99 I believe for the, what is this, a 0.35 fluid ounce. But, like, honestly, if you see here, like, you could definitely get a lot of use out of this. And this is perfect travel size. So, I would say, when it comes to these, these give bougie on a budget. And, like, I believe the 50 milliliters are only, like, 20 to 30 bucks. So, I'm going to start with the good stuff. So, Redwood, let me tell you. Redwood was giving the girls Baccarat Rouge 540. I was asked at least three times while wearing this, do you have on Baccarat, do you have on Baccarat? No, I have on Redwood by Atar London. This is $14. This is not even a fraction of the price of Baccarat Rouge. So I thought this was perfect. Like throw it in your purse and it's um, highly concentrated and has an oil base. Baby, when I say I was smelling this all day, all day, like literally i sprayed it on that morning and that evening i can smell it still on my skin and on my clothes so i would recommend this 10 out of 10. the next scent that was sent to me was their oud oud is a stronger fragrance it's more of a musky scent so you got to be into musk to be into this this is not my favorite one um didn't really use it too much but uh i might be able to layer it one day but if you're into like cedar wood and musky fragrances you could try it this is giving me kind of grandma kind of old lady but that's okay because you know somebody like it now next is this leather the leather definitely reminded me of my tom ford ombre leather baby this smells almost exactly like it, like the perfect replica. So like literally what I did one night was I used my Tom Ford's ombre leather and then I took this as backup to like freshen up. Could not tell the difference. And when I tell you the longevity of this is just as good. Listen, sexy night fragrance right here. If you're into like a sweet musky, like it smells like leather, but it's sexy. Like it's sexy. So definitely we'll put this on my top list of grown and sexy perfumes. I'm going to show y'all again. They are all by Atar London. I will link them all below with the Instagram as well as the link to each fragrance. But yes, Redwood and Leather, like I highly recommend y'all try them out. Like this, this is it. I wouldn't recommend anything to y'all that I haven't tried for myself or like truly like so that is for those mind you those fragrances are unisex so you can use it your boyfriend can use it your mama or your daddy or your brother it don't matter everybody can use them only thing is if you think about it, those more expensive colognes are typically unisex so like Tom Ford's ombre leather is a unisex cologne or perfume and Baccarat 540 is also unisex Although I've never felt like that was a masculine scent, it's really more, to me, it's on the more feminine side, but I guess it depends on your nose. For me, when I smell it on myself, I smell very feminine, but I haven't honestly smelled it on a man. So I might need to spray this on somebody so I can see what it smells like. Okay, so next is a company I have bought before, bought from before, but I haven't bought these dupes in particular from them. So I bought three different dupes from Alt, which is a alternative fragrance for designer perfumes. 
Um, my first purchase from them was like a year ago, maybe two. After I ran out of my Baccarat sample, because I'm bougie on a budget. I like Baccarat and I have G Gentle Fluidity, the big bottle, and I had already paid for that and I didn't want to pay for the Baccarat 540. So, I had samples of the Baccarat 540 and after they were gone, I'm like, man, what am I do? Alt. As you see, this is a bigger box that I have. Alt has a alternative to the Baccarat 540 Rouge. Rouge 540, I'm sorry. And it is called Crystal 23. And it was a girl on YouTube talking about this like a year ago. And she was Peyton Charles, actually. And she was saying how it smelled exactly like Baccarat. How she couldn't tell the difference. The lasting power was the same. She told no lies. Because I had the samples. And I was sparingly using the samples. So I could smell them when I got this no difference no difference so if you wanted to try baccarat 540 if you haven't got enough money to buy it if you don't want to spend the coin like myself try the alt crystal number 23 this is going to give you bougie on a budget she's expensive she got her bills paid she got her shit together she's that girl like this ah! listen one, my friend actually bought it first and when she got in my car, my God, I could smell it like the door wouldn't even close yet and I could smell it. Like this is a head turner. Like the boy's going to want to know your name. Okay. So if you haven't tried it, I suggest Alt Crystal 23 for sure. The next dupe that I did purchase, let's see which one this one is. Because for whatever reason, the name isn't on the box. Unless I'm just like overlooking it somewhere. But I definitely don't see it. So, oops, the top came off. Okay, this is supposed to be comparative to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This is Cherry Smash. Personally, I don't like it. Um, I'm going to spray it. Let's see. This has too much tobacco in it. It has notes of tobacco and something smoky. But when I wore it, I smelled like your grandmother's best friend. And I didn't like that. So I'm 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 not the youngest, but I ain't the oldest. So I don't want to smell like my grandmother gave me her perfume, you know? So for me, this was a no-go. This was absolute no-go. So Alts, Cherry Smash, Tom Ford, Lost Cherry Dupe. Absolutely not. I've smelled Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry smells absolutely beautiful. It's a sweet, sexy. It is smoky. But when I sprayed it at the store on my body, it didn't have the um, drying, dry down smell that this had. The dry down smell of this is definitely old lady. And no, no thank you. So... Um, for me, on my body, I feel like my body chemistry didn't mix well with this, but this could work for someone else. I feel like it does smell similar to Lost Cherry, but it is definitely not Lost Cherry. So for this one, I'm going to have to give it a, a 4 out of 10. Like, I personally wouldn't wear this one again. I'm actually going to find someone to give it to that may like it, but the tobacco in it just gave it too much of that smoky mature mature smell that kind of remind you of like donna karen white diamonds red door you know stuff your grandmother wore back in the day on sunday at church and that wasn't what i was trying to give i'm trying to give she's sexy and she grown and she's that girl not she borrowing her grandma perfume so we're gonna x that one and lastly i feel like this video is not gonna be long at all but lastly, uh, we have Alt Duchess. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's so light. There we go. It's called Duchess. And Duchess is a dupe for... Why did my mind just go blank? Wow.
Y'all. Girl, okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is Alt Duchess. Ooh, that light is so bright. Y'all can't see it. Hold on, let me turn the light down. Okay, there we go. So this is Duchess. And Duchess is a dupe for Parfume de Marley Delina. Delina's Parfume de Marley. When I say Delina, that's a bad one right there. That girl is bad. Delina Parfume de Marley, the pink one. Oh my goodness that smells so good it is the most feminine oh like that's a that's like a wedding day perfume that's like a prom night that's like a this is this is the final this is it this is the perfume that you wear on your biggest days or just like on dressy like this is a dressy this is an occasion type perfume and i would have to say that alt came very very close to the dupe to being one of the closest dupes i've smelled for delina honestly it's just as soft it smells just as good but i do feel like the lasting power of this is not as good as delina delina's lasting power whew, first of all you don't need but a two one and a two this you still got to spray all over but it is more alcohol based so that could be it but i would say for the price this is $40 compared to Delina, which is 200 plus for a bottle. So if you're wanting to just try something that's similar to it, close to it, that you, um, before you like jump in and make the big purchase, I would highly recommend this. But this is definitely a soft floral spring. This is like, oh she takes care of herself type perfume like this is feminine this is flower baby powder give the girl mm, she's soft she's she, i can't even put into words what this perfume gives but if you were to be the ultimate feminine version of yourself you would wear this like that's the best way i can describe it you would wear this um and i actually like musky like moody perfumes like um but in the springtime i do like to switch it up get a little softer give me a little floral um note to you know play with but i do often layer my perfumes with also more of my warmer scents just to give it a little kick give it a little oomph but she does it all on her own so if you've been looking for a springtime that occasion for that girl perfume to try out try all to duchess Duchess is gonna give it, give the girls what they need. And I promise you won't be disappointed. So I'm gonna just tell y'all, I got all three of the Alt um, perfumes. The Cherry Smash, which is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Dupe. The um, Duchess, which is the Delina Perfume de Marley Dupe. And then I got the big bottle of Crystal Number 23, which is the dupe for the Baccarat 540, Baccarat Rouge 540. And I promise, if you don't get nothing from this haul, if you don't get nothing from this dupe um, video, get that Crystal Number 23. Listen, we we are in inflation. We are in um, hard times, you know. So if you're trying to save some money, I'm trying to tell you right here, you're gonna smell like a rich bitch, but on a on a forty dollar coin. You know, I'm just saying. I'm trying to tell you, you're gonna smell like a rich girl. Like you got your things together, your business is flourishing. Like this is that scent. Like, but hey, I can only tell you. So if you've tried any of these, put in the comments which one you've tried or which one you're wanting to try. I definitely recommend that you give these um, dupes a try because these are the closest dupes I've ever, ever come across. Okay. These are the closest dupes I've ever come across thus far. And I would highly also recommend Atar London's Elixirs. Redwood and Leather, baby. If you, like I said, if you don't take nothing else from this, 
Redwood is even a little bit cheaper than the Crystal Number no. 23 by Alt, and it smells very, very similar to Baccarat Rouge. Like it's 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 it has that saffron. That saffron is so distinctive that you just is you gotta think it's Baccarat. But definitely check these perfumes out. I will have everything linked below so that you can try it out for yourself. Um, also, if you have tried anything tag me when you buy and let me know i want to talk to the girls so in the comments below drop down your favorite bougie on a budget perfume that still hits just as hard as the top dollar perfumes that's all i got for y'all today and i will see you in the next video